Here we are for Inktober Day 29. I am sketching this scene right here from Dr. Stone. And surprisingly, I had watched so many episodes last night, even though by episode seven, I was like, oh, I don't really like the show, I'm gonna write it off. But then I was like, oh, well, you know, I kind of wonder what happened. For now, we're gonna sketch this, then erase it, and then we'll get to inking. Okay, so I finally finished sketching this and I'm about to go in ink. Um, I'm gonna actually try and use my older ink that I have from before, which is the Koli Noir. I'm gonna use this one since I don't want it to dry out anyway, since it's been some time since I've used it, and I'm a little fed up with my leader ink, as you can see. <laughs> I can't believe I watched like over 10 episodes in a night. I'm like all caught up. I'm on episode 17, waiting for episode 18 to come out, but this is the progress so far. I made a few corrections when it came to the nose and the hair as well. I really really like it. I also raised the hair a little bit. I just put the whole screen up. I had a screenshot I was working from instead but I just went straight to the video and now I'm working. So this is the first half of the face completed. I'm gonna go back and do the other side. Also one thing I wanted to note is that with this ink it applies on so smoothly. I really wonder if it's the ink versus me because I have no issues with this one whatsoever and it's just so much easier simple and another thing too is that there's a whole sentence of text in the progress bar or like the play bar on the bottom so I had to kind of make up what I thought would go on somewhere around here because it kind of has an area where it's cut off but to the best of my ability I think that's what it would look like I just have to say I'm particularly proud because I did this whole line right here in one fell swoop and it's so smooth look at this no problem at all. I did the whole line in one swoop and I was like, ooh, go me, go me. Other side, I did the hair in multiple sections and you can kind of tell a little, little bit, but this one I'm particularly proud of, so I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay, so that's about it for the inking. I did a thin implication of a hairline on the top because if you actually look on the picture, there is no hairline, it's just color. So I did that. I smudged a little bit right here and it's a shame too because it was such a good line but thankfully the smudge is on the inside you know it doesn't corrupt anything that's happening on the outside yeah I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit before I start erasing and after it's done erasing I'll see maybe I might do some Copic this is again my um yeah it's my mixed media so I can it'll hold as much as it can for Copic so I'll do that one day I'll have a picture of Dr. Stone on here that's not smudged last time it was really smudged this time it's a little bit better there's this smudge and then all these eraser smudgings. I also used the art gum. I also used this right here, my eraser, Faber-Castell. So honestly, maybe I should have just used a kneaded eraser, but yeah. So I went back and I did two, that'd be one, that'd be, well here, let me just lay them out instead of trying to name everything. But these are all the markers I used. I used W1, two, three, and five. Seven was a little bit too dark. So I just went with these four instead. And I, one thing I learned is I really wish I had like a W4 when it came to doing some of the shadows. Like W3 was a little too light. W5, which was over here, was a little bit too dark. So now I understand why they have the in-between shades. But yeah, this is basically like Smudge City. This doesn't hold up well to Copics, at least not in the immediate. I've never actually waited a whole day or so and then went to go ink something or go back and color it in. So that's also something to explore. Thus concludes day 29. Okay. We are there.